Hi guys, welcome back. So I am going to tell you a joke before we get started. Um, I am going to be reading Junie B. Jones and Handsome Warren, or loves Handsome Warren. But first, my joke. Why did the cow cross the road? To get to the udder side. <laughs> get it? Cow udder. Okay. Hope you love my corny jokes as much as I love telling them. All right, so Junie B. Lo Junie B. Jones loves Handsome Warren, and we are on chapter three. And chapter two was on, it was called Pigs. And that was when um, she, Junie B. Jones, had to convince Lucille that she was just a pig, and she didn't, Lucille didn't have to worry about Grace or Junie B. because, um, she was just a pig and handsome warden wouldn't like her anyway so that's why she should lucille should let her um meet judy b jones or let him meet judy b jones so um but then at the end she met handsome warren and she kind of freaked out a little bit like remember she was rolling around on the ground she made a silly joke and then she couldn't stop laughing herself and she was just rolling on the ground really nervous and then handsome warren um just kind of looked at her kind of crazy and said, you're a nutball. So that takes us to chapter three and chapter three is called not a nutball. Mrs. blew her whistle. That means come in from recess. Lucille and that Grace ran to get me because I was still in the grass, that's why. Lucille was happy and sparkly. Didn't you love him, Junie B? Wasn't he so handsome? He was even handsomer up close, don't you think? He was nice too. Wasn't he nice? That Grace was happy and sparkly too. He said he liked my high tops, she said. He said he liked my dress, said Lucille. He said I was a nutball, I said. Lucille twirled all around. Not me, she said. He didn't say I was a nutball. That's because he loves me. That Grace jumped high in the air. Me too, she squealed. He loves me too. Just then, Lucille stopped twirling. She crossed her arms. No, Grace, she said. He does not love you too. He only loves me, because I saw him first, and you're not allowed to steal him anyway, remember? That Grace crossed her arms too. I'm not stealing him, Lucille. He just automatically loves me on his own, and there's nothing I can do about it, she said. I tugged on Lucille's dress. How come he said I was a nutball, do you think? Why did he have to say that dumb thing? Lucille didn't pay any attention to me. She kept on being mad at that Grace. I knew it, she grouched. I knew this was going to happen, Grace. You were trying to steal my boyfriend. Junie B said you wouldn't, but you are. She looked down at me. Tell her, Junie B, tell Grace she can't steal my boyfriend. I looked curious at her. I'm not a nutball, am I? Am I a nutball? I said, I am not a nutball. Just then that Grace leaned close to Lucille's nose. Here's a picture of that. Can you see that? Yep, she doesn't look happy. And look at Judy B. Jones down there. I can love anybody I want to, Lucille, she hollered in her face. No, you cannot, Grace. Yes, I can too, Lucille. I tapped on both their ankles. How many think I'm a nutball? Raise your hand, I said. Just then, Mrs. blew her whistle again. And so I froze and stood up on the grass. And I walked to room nine all by myself because I couldn't stop thinking about being a nutball, that's why. I thought about it the whole rest of the day. I didn't even talk, not at show and tell, not at snack time, not even when I got on the bus to ride home. That Grace sat down next to me. She was happy and sparkly again. I know he loves me better than Lucille, she said. I'm positive he does. And he hasn't even seen how fast I can run yet. She poked me with her finger. What do you think he likes better? Who do you think, me or Lucille? And tell the truth, she said. I still didn't talk. That Grace jiggled me. How come you're not talking, Junie B, she asked. How come you're not answering me? Are you sick? Do you have a sore throat? 
Just then her eyes opened real wide and her whole mouth came open. Oh, I know why you're not talking. It's because you're upset, right? You're upset that you're a nutball. <laughs> I spinned around at her very quick. I am not a nutball, Grace. I am just a regular normal girl and I don't even know why that boy had to call me that. I do, said that Grace. I know why he called you that. It's because you couldn't stop laughing and you fell in the grass and you rolled all around down there. I stared at her. Yeah, so, I said. So that's how nutballs act, said that Grace. And I should know, because I have a nutball right in my very own personal family. I raised up my eyebrows. You do, I said. Yes, she said. My two-year-old brother, Jeffy, is a nutball. Every time we go to the mall, we have to put him on a leash or else he tackles people. And then he hides in the clothes and security has to come and get him. She looked at me very suspicious. Did you ever do that, Junie B. Jones? Hmm? Did you ever tackle people and hide in the clothes and security had to come? I quick looked away from her. Because that is my very own personal beeswax. Jeffy's not allowed to eat sugar cereal anymore either, said that Grace. My mother thinks the sugar gets him all jazzed up. She raised one eyebrow, one eyebrow very curious. Do you eat sugar cereal for breakfast, Junie B? Hmm, do you? She said. I looked away again. Because guess what? More of my own personal beeswax. That's why. Oh my goodness. Junie B. Jones. That girl. She could be a nutball. I think she could be a nutball. She's funny, that's for sure. I am loving this book. I hope you are loving it as much as I am. I personally think that this is my favorite Junie B. Jones book. Okay, guys, I will see you tomorrow. I hope you have a great day.